Yo, so this is the 2011 Hyundai Accent. About to get the windows tinted. This is the car that I'm, this is gonna be my project car that I'm getting some work done to. It got the bumper replaced. They're gonna fix it here actually. See this dent right here? I'm gonna actually leave that for when they put the wrap on. Um, I didn't get this match because they're gonna wrap the car, not right now at this moment, but later on. Um, I just got this fender put on. I was in a car accident uh, back in 2017, and uh, my man's at Jim, no, Alex, I'm sorry, Alex uh, Auto Body out here in Stockton. Man, this door right here looks like, um, like if you would take, hold on, it's a big truck coming. It looks like if you would take some tin foil, and roll it up, ball it up some tin for you, and then try to flatten it back out. That's how this door used to look. And this is smooth right now, man. This is like butter. You feel me? Um, the only problem, if I was to rate them, the body shop, uh, Alex Auto out here in Stockton, I would give them like maybe out of 100%, I would give them like, um, I gotta get a gap filler right here, they said. Um, I would give them like a 95%, man. They did a hell of a job, for real, for real. This door right here used to dent, like this this little space you see here was a lot wider. And when you would uh, drive down the freeway, it would, um, you could hear the wind and stuff. And then when you go through the car wash, the water would drop in here. So now it's, it's closed a lot better than what it was. It's sealed up. Let me see if I can get my key. And uh, really show y'all. Real quick. See right here too. They couldn't they, they couldn't do this part. So I, I either gotta get a new inside panel from the dealership, which is gonna probably hit me for like five hundred dollars, or just tape this back up, tape it up, and just have it like that. But this right here, this ceiling right here, was all jacked up and this wasn't even on here. So they got that they they look like they sanded it, because you see all the dust here. They sanded it and grinded it, made it smooth again, and stuck this weather strip back on there, which was, uh, I love it that they did that. So, uh, this, so right now we at uh, Cal's Custom out here in Stockton. They're going to do the wrap job for this, and they're going to do the tinted windows. Right now I'm here for them to do the tinted windows. I'm actually like an hour late because... Um, I got my homeboy coming from out of town and my wife had me do some stuff around the house So I'm pretty late, but I'll just give, give them the car and let them keep it and do what they do um, So this is it. Oh, yeah, this is what I was gonna say I'm also gonna go back to uh, Alex body shop and have them put Lamborghini doors on here So I'm getting a Lamborghini a Lamborghini door kit and they're gonna And this thing is gonna pop out and go 90 degrees up in the air. I'm gonna get some new upholstery I got y'all know the stars in the roof from the uh the uh the Rolls Royce. I got this LED that goes in here. It works beautifully. And this is gonna put stars in your roof, y'all. Watch this. Y'all wanna see some stars in the roof? You ain't gotta get no, you ain't gotta get no uh y'all can see that man? You got stars in the roof, man. You understand me? And it's adjustable too, so you can change the little settings. Let me see. Like that. Like that. Let me see if it, uh, it's a it's a couple of different settings on here. Oh there you go. Look. Boom. Stars in the roof. Boom. Stars in the roof. This costs ten dollars, bruh. And you can get stars in the roof. But yeah, so. I'm about to get them this car and let them do what they do. And uh, that's it. He's out. Peace. So this is going to get the tinted windows on it today. Uh, two front, the two back, and the back one back here. All tint. Dark tint. So that's the goal for this for right now. Peace out.
transformation, what I'm doing to the 2011 Hyundai Accent. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I didn't really get the before picture like I wanted to do, but I'm going to show y'all and explain some things. Some of this might be repetitive from my other video that I'm going to put up in here and mix it all together, but uh, we're gonna we not going to like pimp it out or nothing, but we're just going to do some things to it that wasn't there before. This is going to be my project car, and so just walk with me for a minute. Check it out. All this right here looked like uh, it was all bent up and, and messed up, so I took it to the body shop, and this part was messed up. I thought I was gonna have to buy a new door. The new door would have been like $1,300. I got this, all this body work done, paid for the new bumper, the new fender, the new light on the side. All that hit me for like a thousand bucks, including um, the, the, the repair work. Uh, when I'm gonna do the uh, labor. Um, um, check this out. The, uh, the mirror, it actually got hit when it was at uh, my god sister house on the road, it was parked. And it got hit. So I still need a new side mirror, as you can tell. Alright. The fender. New light. All this is they just put this on. The dude said at the uh at the shop that I should get um, a, a, a bumper filler for this part right here. You fill all this in. He said it, he said it shouldn't cost no more than a couple dollars to get that. Um, the bumper before, the, the old bumper that, took off, that, that got taken off of this, it was um, it was all it was all bent up, broke in half right here. This was all popped out. Um, so what happened in the car accident was I actually got sideswiped, and somebody hit me, and they pushed me into another car, and that's how the side got messed up and the bumper got jacked up. And all the bumper and all this stuff, this came from uh. This came from, uh, what's it, Korea, I believe. And it's the original parts for the car. So, the plan is, of course, to get it painted, because I'm not going to leave it like that. And, um, with the wheels, we're not going to do, like, no rims. We're going to do some, like, some more hubcaps. We're going to update the hubcaps, get some shiny ones. And, uh, we're going to get some better tires. I'm gonna look for something that's more quiet on the road or something that's gonna help save gas. I gotta go talk to the uh, people at the tire shop to actually see like what tires to put on this car that's gonna work for it. So then, as y'all can see, y'all been seeing the tinted windows. That's fairly new. Um, I got light in the front and dark in the back. A lot of people say, well, you should struck out both of them. Hey, I spent the money. It's my money. I do what I want to do, right? It's like, yo, all right? So, uh, I got the windows tinted for like 180 bucks down at Cal's. I could have did it myself, but since I never did it before, I didn't want to take the chance to mess up and it come out all bubbly and, and jacked up. I could have did it myself. I could have got everything from Walmart for like 120 bucks and did it myself for free. But let's take it to the people. Let them do it. We're going to go inside. Oh, let me go back to the other side. Come on, come around. Come you ain't never seen a Honda accent with a hitch on. You ain't never seen that. I'm telling you, you ain't never seen that. I wanted to show this right here because when I got in, when I got in the car accident, this was open a lot more. It's like the body shop. They pushed it back in or did something. Um, so when I go through the car wash, water would get in. Not a lot, but like a little bit would go in. So now I haven't taken it to the car wash yet. I haven't tested it out, but. My assumption is that water still might get me here, but not as much. So hopefully it doesn't at all. And oh, this weather strip seal right here was all jacked up. This wasn't even on here properly. So they, you can see it's all dusty from the grinding, making it smooth, putting it back on here. The inside door panel from the accident is still messed up. So I'm gonna have to get some more tape, tape it around because I'm actually putting Lamborghini doors on this car. So I'm gonna get order the door kit. And so with the Lamborghini doors, they're gonna take off the inner part right here. And they're gonna hook the uh, kit up to whereas the door, the door will still, it will be up though, it will be up. So let's say if I'm inside already, it will open a little bit, 
and then it'll go up 90 degrees and then you'll be able to get out and then when you close it, it'll come down and then you just close it shut. So that's that part. Uh, I'm gonna get some new upholstery. I'm not gonna take this out. I'm just gonna get some upholstery covers. I don't know what color to go with yet. I was thinking like a white with like some stones in it or something, but I don't know. The, the thing I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make it like kind of luxurious, but do it the abs absolutely uh, cheapest way possible. Not the cheapest, cheapest way, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna get that from a 99 cent store, but you know what I mean? something I can afford that's, you know, that's, that'll work with the car. And also get the car painted. The paint is gonna be a chameleon. I don't know what kind of chameleon yet. Um, I've been going back and forth in my brain, like what color, like a, a dark purplish or a bluish, and something that's gonna change two or three colors. I don't know yet, but it's gonna be a chameleon paint all the way around with the tents, the new rims, the new upholstery, the inside. The, uh, this is the this is the you know standard radio that came with it. I'm thinking about getting the um, an Android touchscreen system in here um, to update the Bluetooth. Because when you hook your phone up to the Bluetooth now and do like the uh, hands-free talk, it's like kind of it sounds like you're underwater. You feel me? And when you play your music through it sounds like not good at all so that's an option also i'm going to get the uh the rear view the uh backup cam and a front cam uh dashboard mirror so it's gonna sit up here and um, i think it costs like 124 bucks it's like the same size as this but it's gonna sit up here and it give me a lot more options and uh oh the stars in the roof you know like the, like the rolls royce Salute to Master P, man. I got this idea from P, man. He always talking about got the stars in the roof and the Rolls Royce. So you know what I did? Hey, this costs $10 on Amazon. You just put this in your USB. I ain't started up right now. It lights up, boom. You know, you put this in gear so it's not gonna be blocking too much. Let me see something. Let me uh, go ahead and try to see it. can't really see because it's daytime right now but but I got the stars in the roof right now man basically it's lit up and you can see a little bit and then you can just adjust it how you want to adjust it the stars is in the roof so if you with your lady it's gonna be real romantic and if you with your homies you want to stunt you can do that too you feel me now the back seat though I'm still debating I gotta ask my nephew what he think what he would do I don't know if I should just lay one seat down and put like some music back here for real, for real, and just leave one seat for my baby, a car seat in here, or should I just, you know, put them back up and still put the music just in the back part? I don't know yet, but that's a debate too. Um, of course, I'm gonna change the upholstery. I'm gonna get new mats. So it's gonna be all cleaned out. Um, so that's the plan with it. I don't actually plan on selling the car, but. Once I get it how I think I'm going to get it, or how I will get it, then we'll see what all options. Maybe I'll throw up the sale sign on it for, uh, this car actually only worth right now maybe like $1,500, 15 to twenty, fifteen to $2,300. Um, if I get it, you know, painted and all this stuff, I might, I don't know, I might get, it got 136,000 miles on it, 2011. So I might try to get 4000 for it. I see, maybe more. If not, I just keep it because I really want to keep it. It had no major mechanical issues. Um, and it's a solid, good little running car. Man, this car has been cross country, Virginia, California, Washington State is where we originally bought the car. Uh, from Washington State down to Cali. We got it shipped to VA. From VA, they've been uh, Atlanta, Louisiana, uh, Georgia. It's been up to. Uh, uh, New York, uh, New Jersey, all up and down the East Coast, man. And and then back from VA to uh, Cali. So, hey, this is a little stormtrooper right here, boy. Just the beginning, baby. <laughs>